Hey there, Scorpio. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits your situation and leave what does not. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. I'm going to do a free-for-all with the Light Sears Tarot. Let's go ahead and get started. Leo Energy with the King of Wands. So you're taking the lead. I'm hearing the voice of reason in a situation. Some of you have a group project and you're kind of, um, you're trying to explain how it's done. This could even be, um, you're getting together with friends and you're explaining how a game is played or maybe you're a trainer at your job. You could be training somebody. Hmm. I'm, I am getting that it takes courage to do what you do here. And you might be very busy as well. But you're very passionate about it. It's, it's, you know how when you just know you were born to do something? That's what I'm getting with this for you, Scorpio. The Eight of Swords. What? Explain that. How the fuck are you going to have mental prison sitting next to you, all the confidence? I guess the people that laugh the loudest also cry the hardest when no one's looking. I wonder if that defines you a little bit or describes you a little bit. Sorry, it doesn't define you, but describes you a little bit. Maybe you're stepping up and doing what needs to be done because in the past you didn't and you definitely do not want to relive that. Or maybe nobody stood up for you in a situation, but now you're put in the position where you get to stand up for somebody else and you're doing it, becoming the change that you want to see in the world. That's pretty powerful right there. Oh my gosh, yes. What else do we have for Scorpio? Yeah, if somebody is upsetting you, if you're if you're triggered here, if if you're Oh, that mirror is pissing you off. Do something about it. Like, you're not just going to sit here and cry about it. You're going to do something like, what can I do? And do that. You might spend two minutes or five minutes talking about the issue, but you immediately know what to do and go into action and do it. Like, let's wrap this up. Mama, it's fucking stop it. Sorry, that's like the third or fourth time she's jumped in front of one of my readings. No. You know better. Look at that. You're not sneaky. <laughs> the seven of swords. You really thought that your round ass was going to be sneaky? Girl, please. I love you. And you're fed. Oh my God, is she fed. But honey, come on. <laughs> That's funny. Jump on it. That does describe the energy a little bit, though. As soon as there's a problem, we just boom. And I think you can, you have this ability to laugh things off. Did you know that if you deep belly laugh, you can actually exercise negative energies? Laughter is one of the best medicines for your heart as well. Laughing a lot can strengthen your heart muscle. Six of Wands. So yeah, you're overcoming whatever the, the problem is, whatever it is that you're looking at that you really don't like. It could be a little scary. It could just be in your head. It could be old things that we're not going to repeat. For some of you, it's a second chance. You know, maybe you weren't happy with the way things went the first time around. So this time around, you're going to get it right. Six of Wands is guaranteed success. So whatever this is for you, the divine's kind of nudging you like, you can't get this wrong, just so you know. They want you to have the confidence to do what you need to do, because some of you are terrified of doing this. Some of the things that we're scared to do are actually the things we're meant to do. Do you know how taboo I thought tarot was? <laughs> scared to put myself out there. Seven of Pentacles, yep. 
Some of what you're scared of is what you're supposed to be doing. And once you step out on that stage and you get over that stage fear, you're like, shit, I love the limelight. Put me on the front row. No, put me on the stage. Like, that's the difference that's happening here. Now you're invested. Now you're like, all right, let's carve some time out of our busy schedule to do this because this is actually not so bad. Yep, Page of Pentacles, we got something new. Putting it in the books, on the schedule. For some of you, this is just therapy. There could be insurance for it, though, is actually what I'm getting. Yeah, Knight of Wands. You're loving this. You're very comfortable. Letting your hair down, having fun. Scorpio, you've got to have some kind of Leo energy in your birth chart because, like, I don't know a lot of Scorpios that like attention. Oh, well, on toxic ones, but that's not what we're talking about. That's not who I'm talking to. But no, this is different. This is... This is you not being afraid to put yourself out there anymore. Some of you guys are going to kind of kick yourself in the butt like, why did I wait so long? I should have done this forever ago. <laughs> I love this. What the fuck was I so scared of? Ten of Wands. Yeah. You're leaving this fear behind you. Aw. Somebody's getting over their stage fright. Or whatever it is. You know, it's not just stage fright here. It was really hard for you to do this, though. Yeah, King of Swords. But you get it now. You totally understand why you were, like, back and forth, back and forth. I want to, but I shouldn't. But what if I could? But I can't. But I want to. But what if I get hurt? Like, but what if you succeed, though? What's that song, uh, What Ifs? I believe it's by Kane Brown, Country. Why am I getting country? I'm getting a lot of country music today. Okay, and now I'm hearing op uh, wide open spaces, right? Maybe your fear was that you were trying to give yourself room to make a big mistake. But the divine is like, you can't fuck this up, though. Like, it's, it's success for you, period. All you got to do is do it. <laughs> so then you meet new faces and you're going to high places. Yeah, yeah, listen to that song because there's some interesting lyrics that are perfectly lining up with this message. Look at that. The Nine of Swords, which is the fear, and the Eight of Wands. You moving past a fear. Flying past a fear, actually. Eight of Wands is quick. It's so fast, you're going to either get whiplash or be dizzy. It's a lot. <laughs> And look at how solid this is. The Four of Wands. When you get where you're going, there'll be only happy tears. It's a lot of country music. The Star and the Fool. I feel like your ancestors are hoping and praying that you do this. Because there's a lot of them that did not have the courage to do it. Could even be in your past lives you didn't have the courage to do it. This is something that's built up over more than you realize. I'm also getting there's more people paying attention to this than you realize. Paying attention to you. You have all the faith in the world. And it will take you exactly where you need to go, including past your fears. 
your darkest, deepest, darkest fears. It's time to be brave, Scorpio. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous, and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.